Hey everyone, it's Mikito here. Um, I got a new microphone so my voice doesn't sound so far away and there's not like a whole bunch of wind or whatever. It's great. I'm so excited to use this new mic. Uh, today I'm also trying something new. This will be my first time trying to teach a life and death lesson. I have to admit to everyone that I am really, really, really bad at life and death. Um, I'm 2Q AGA and I would say that, you know, out of like the 10 to 15 people I play with on a regular, they are almost all better than me at life and death. So this is where I should be reviewing the most, but I stay away from it because it's a lot harder for me. So anyway, bear with me. I might be making some mistakes here. Uh, I'll try and do my best. Today I'm teaching the tripod group. Uh, so let's get into it, shall we? Uh, the tripod group usually comes into real games when the shape is like this, where white or your opponent, whether it's white or black, has a shimari, and black plays this invasion. Now, before I checked out this life and death, I was like, man, that looks kind of crazy. And it kind of does, but it does give you a living shape, surprisingly. Which is this shape, the three-legged tripod. Um, I feel like I've seen played this against, uh, or a pros played this against me uh, before. I'll have to look into those game reviews and we might go over it on camera at some point. But anyway, let's just get into this for now. Um, Okay, if white plays here, where should black go? The most easiest way for black to live is this move right here. Now without a doubt, no matter what white tries to do, black is going to live. Um, very, very, I hope it's easy to see, but there you go. Very, very easy to live. Uh, so, white shouldn't play that way right off the bat. He should try and make it a little more complicated for the other player. And this would be the move. So, the question is, what should black play next? I mean, should he connect here? Should he can play here? Should he cry? <laughs> um, well, in, in the problems I've looked, this is the correct move. Uh, we'll go over it, but why don't we look at the wrong move first? If black plays here, it only takes white one move and he can destroy this group. Uh, the shape point when it comes to this net uh, would be this move right here. Uh, and no matter what black tries to do, white can now threaten this snapback. Uh, black would have to not want to die so he would play he would play here and then white can just squash him and no matter what black tries to do he cannot live um, if he plays here obviously this is no not gonna give him two eyes if he plays here white plays here that breaks up his two eyes and if he goes for this well white can still play this move and now black doesn't have two eyes. So, how should I put it? This is the incorrect way to play the tripod. It's a no-no. <laughs> but if white messes up, then it does give black some, a recovery point, And that would be playing the shape point. Now, no matter what white tries to do, uh, black should end up with two eyes. Same if white plays here. So the key to the net's shape is this move right here. Anyway, we'll go back. We'll go to the, the real move. This is the real move you should be playing um, to make the tripod correct. In my opinion, uh, these are the two of white's strongest attacks. Uh, we can go over this one first. Uh, if you feel like pausing it to try it yourself, I advise that. In fact, I should say this, whenever I do any of these videos, I advise you to look up what they are first and then use these videos to review. 
So the best way to learn is to read it first, try it yourself. Once you've learned what you're supposed to be doing and you think you have it down, the next thing you want to do is listen to someone talk about it and watch somebody talk about it. And that's giving all your senses a way to learn. So it gives you your reading, it gives you your physical uh, playing it on board, and then it gives you your review for your eyes and your ears. So anyway, the next move would be this one. Uh, white has two options, the first being this, and then black lives. No questions. Black has one eye here, two eyes here. So if we try and break white's eye, uh, black's eye here, now black can come out here. White will stop him. Black makes one eye, and white can't do anything. This is self Atari. This is self Atari. And when he plays here, black can just play this. And now he has two eyes with the captured stones. So. This is the tripod group in its essence right here. And it all started with this invasion at the Shimari. We'll do a couple more problems. Um, once again, this isn't my strength. I, I'm pretty bad at this stuff, but let's keep going. Uh, where does the problem start? I think the problem starts here. Okay. Yes, okay. So this is where the problem starts actually. I'll even mark it problem. Uh if black tanukis, if he thinks he's good, where does white play next? Uh feel free to pause it and try and remember. Uh you're if you reviewed before. If not, I'll just teach you now. I believe this to be the strongest attack because if black um, plays this white connects and now there's a ko here because when white plays here it forces this or a ko black will stretch out white plays this black makes his one eye and now he has to fight a ko for life So this is a success for white, this attack here. It, this That was if black blocks this way. If black blocks this way, this is, in my opinion, a bigger success. Black, um, if he does anything over here, white will just kill these stones. So that's a fail. So I would answer this way, but it still it just doesn't work. Um, white, uh, Black doesn't have two eyes in here, and so... That would be the end of that. So at this point, black can't tanuki. I'm not saying you would, but you know. <laughs> um, so I believe, let's find out if black, this is the answer. Yes, okay, so that just leaves to a safe group, I believe. So if white plays this, you can just play that. And now you have two eyes no matter what. Uh, but what else do I have down here? Okay, so I covered these two. And I covered this. Okay, so I think that's just the answer to the problem right there, is this move. So don't tanuki. <laughs> and if somehow it's this situation, and it's white's turn, you know, <laughs> you're going to be in trouble. You might as well just let them have that, and then, you know, live with your loss. So we'll do another problem. Let's see. Okay, so the problem set up like this. Um, this one gave me a lot of trouble when I was doing it, and it kind of annoyed me. I couldn't figure out how white could kill black, and I couldn't figure out the best move for black to just live by one move. And the answer, well, if you want to pause it and think about how does white kill black? And then after, if you want to think about how does black live with one move? Well, the answer that aggravates me is that black is alive. He can, can tanuki here, and he's perfectly fine. So let's say black tanuki, and it is now white's turn, which it is. Um, 
if white Hane is this way, black, I believe, can just play this. And no matter what, black's alive now. See? Um, so this Hane doesn't work. So let's try this move to break that. Well, I think black can now just play here. And if he does this shape point, then it turns out this way. Now these are self Atari, so white will play on the outside, and then boom, now black has a living shape. So this move doesn't work. Uh, let's try this one. <laughs> uh, here we go. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna cheat and look at my list here. Okay. I think. Oh, okay. So this is the throw in. Were you throwing here? No? Maybe not. Alright. What do I got on my list? Oops. Oh, okay. So he can just clamp down. Then, if white plays this, black can just. Uh, play this move and now black is alive hmm silly me wonder if there's anything else so these were to me just playing around I feel like there's one more problem that I missed somewhere but I don't see it on my web so I guess I'll end it here I hope that helped. I knew it was going to be a messy review because Tetsuji just feels a lot easier to teach. Same with Fuseki. But life and death is kind of like a practice on your own thing. And once again, that's why I advise looking up the tripod group and then uh, using this video to review so you don't get sloppy when you don't play it for 50 games. <laughs> Alright everyone, I hope you had fun watching. Take it easy.